Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? Um, get my C4 in. My uh, C4 pre-workout. And most people, most people don't use pre-workout. But in all my, they say the cut is cheating. I don't really say it's cheating. I don't really say it's cheating. But most people say it is, but I like it. It gets me energy uh, throughout the day or throughout my workouts when I'm feeling kind of tired. Um, plus, a little sluggish. I'm going to do three scoops. I know it says I'll do one scoop, but I do three because it gives me. It gives, it gives me more energy. Um, I do like three of them because I'm used to that much scoops when I do it. Um, it makes it more stronger. Um, I just add it with water. I see some people online where they shot it down in the mouth. I don't do the shots. I mean, I tried it one time. Uh, shot down in it, down my mouth. It was so strong and it, it tasted like candy. I didn't really care too much doing it that way. So what I do is put it in my water and you wonder what that noise is. It's because my, I have my air on. Shake this up really good. You can get you can get it at Walmart for you can get the C4 uh, get like ripped pre workout. Um, I shake it up really good and make sure everything's all shaked up in there. But you get it for like uh, $22.95 for a little, little canister. Um, you just want to, you know, get it where you can have your, your cardio, you know, get your cardio in if you're feeling tired and you need the energy boost. And, and most people say, oh, get coffee. Well, you know, I drink coffee throughout the day. You know, coffee doesn't do me. And it's just like, I'm just so used to drinking coffee and everything. It's Mountain Dew don't really do me anymore. Uh, nothing really does me that much anymore. Um, my body's so used to it. Um, I've been drinking plenty of water at night and everything. I use this, I use water in this. So that's basically my water base. It's just, sugar water pretty much with flavorness um that's what pre-workout is pretty much it's just added sugars with um electrolytes and everything else into the pre-workout and make it where you have more energy and everything you know the sugar in it's not good for you but i like it because it's it gives me more energy when I need it. Even though people say, oh, it's cheating and everything when you use it. Um, you're not using your own strength and everything. You're killing your, killing your kidneys and everything else. Uh, but I don't believe that. Uh, it's all up in here when people say that. Uh, they call you a pussy when you take it. Uh, you know, I've been on it for a while. Um, is it addicting? It, it, ain't, it ain't addicting. I'm going to tell you this. It's not a. It's not. You don't have addicting personality taste to it. Um, you can get off of it. You know. You can get back on. When, I will warn you that if you do get on it, um, the pre-workout stuff, um, the, you will have a tingly sensation, like in your arms, in your face. Some. Um, there were some different ones that you know. I'm. You know. I tried them all out there. You know, not every one of them, but I mean, I tried all the ones at Walmart. Which one worked? Which one didn't work? You know, for me, uh, I would say the best one for me that worked was C4 pre-workout. And another one that I like um, is Total War uh, pre-workout. Um, it, it's more smoother to drink. But it don't give you the energy burst that the C4 does. Um, 
But I also tried to, try to grill a pre-workout. That one is probably like the best one out of all pre-workouts that, that I ever tried. But since I'm on a budget, I buy the C4 pre-workout. Um, but it's like I said, I'm gonna go get a workout in. I'll see you in a bit. Stay tuned and set me down. Set me down for. Stay tuned for what's after this. Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This this is Homeboy Seth McDonald. We're outside right now and I just I was in there showing you before this video even started that you know I was doing a pre-workout, you know, showing you what I use before I do a workout. Um to kinda get me energized. I hadn't had C4 for, for a while in my pre-workout turns. So uh we're gonna get a boxing workout in. Um, I'm just gonna work on some boxing techniques. Um, I just pretty much uh, already worked five hours today. Um, I really don't feel like doing any body weight conditioning right now. Um, I'm still kind of a little tired. I hadn't really been sleeping all that well lately. Uh, my body's just kind of wore out, so I'm kind of doing a light workout tonight. Nothing major, nothing major or anything like that. It's just nothing major like that. It's just basically doing uh, doing some boxing, you know, basic technique. Um, nothing too major or anything like that. It's just. I like boxing. Boxing is the best, the best fighting sport there ever is. Um, you, you know, cry people use it um, when they feel like they can't really kick. You know, they'll go in, start using their boxing on their opponent, and that, that's the thing. You know, martial artists nowadays they incorporate boxing into their workouts because. Um, when they get up in the age, when they feel like they can't do their kicks, they feel like they can't do their kicks. When they feel like they can't do their kicks, sorry about that airplane going by. Um, when they when they feel like they can't go in for their kicks, or they can't feel like they need they can. Uh, use their, well, they can't use their legs at a certain age, well, you know, you still got your hands. That's where your hands come to play. <laughs> when you reach a certain age where you feel like, oh, you can't, you know, kick very high, you know, you can't do all those fancy kicks like you used to back when you're younger, like in your night, in your teens, in your 20s, and stuff like that, well, you still work on your hands. That's the reason why I like boxing because it's more easier. It's more uh, effective martial arts. Yes, it don't have the grappling. You know, it don't have the grappling from the like um, from the Panatukan to um, the Filipino martial arts. It don't have none of that. But it's good. You know, just keep moving. It's good to keep. You know active no matter what no matter what age you are or whatever um so i'm like i said i'm not no professional at boxing um i learned i learned it from a friend um and i fell in love with it ever since um because it's like i said it's so easy to do it's not so hard um if you're looking for art to study you know to start out at first um, that'll be the style to study because it's easy, it's not too hard, you know, it's not too complex. You know, learning the moves, the movement, and the timing of the foot position, how you stand, and everything, the footwork, and everything, then that comes into play and all that. But 
with practice, you know, it don't it don't take long to um, it don't take long to basically um, get get it down where you become a pro, almost like a pro at it. But it takes years to become a pro at what you do in your craft. You know, you might not be like a world champion in the ring, but if you practice every night, if you practice every other day on your craft or every night on your craft, you get better over the years on what you're wanting to learn. So that's my whole aspect of doing martial arts, like karate, taekwondo, boxing, Krav Maga, um, even a little bit of Wing Chun. I mean, I did like a month training of Wing Chun, um, basically just the basics. Um, but you know, what, out of all the styles I've learned over the years, I kind of incorporated my own system into what I want to teach. You know, on my YouTube, um, what I want to do, uh, spread wellness, you know, fitness. Um, basically, you know, get people motivated to start working out, um, staying active, no matter what they do, into their training. So, if you want to get in shape, stay with me. Um, we'll get in shape together, you know, as we go along on this journey and everything else. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on the jab, the jab cross, the jab cross hook. And the jab cross hook cross. Four combinations. I'm gonna put those into a workout. And um, I'm not gonna put too much on you guys because I know some of you all are out there are still beginners. Um, I do this into my training almost. It varies on like what type of mood I'm in into. You know, if I want to do karate, you know, I might add a little bit of kicking kicking into it but we're not going to focus on the kicks and stuff right now but um we're we're going to be focusing on we're going to be focusing on the fists and what it is we're going to do 20 reps on each side I'm going to go back to back and we're going to do five sets of each exercise and we're going to get a workout in that one. <laughs> we're going to start off with the jab. We're going, to, we're going to stand on our... We're going to stand on our fighting stance. Whichever stance you're more comfortable in. Me, I like to use my dominant side. Because in Jeet Kune Do, that's what we use. So, we have one hand up, one hand down. But mostly, I like to have both hands down. Because that way I can see, that way I can see it, what's in front of me. Not having them up, having, having my hands where I can't see what's on the other side coming down. I usually have them like this. Most people say that's dangerous, but I see all around who's coming at me this way, who's coming at me that way, who's coming at me this way. I might be able to see who's coming at me that and behind me. But, and that's the thing, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have 50 50 even on the feet. Um, when you punch, you use your hips into it, you never use the shoulder. You can use the shoulder, but the shoulder don't give you really much power. So we're going to, you know, work on the jab first. Then we're going to, after that, we're going to do the jab cross, then the jab cross hook, then the jab cross hook cross. So one, two, three, four, five. Remember, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20. Remember to use the hips. Use your whole body into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nine, one, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Remember to breathe. You hear me doing into it. Remember to breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. That was a jab cross hook. Jab cross hook cross. Number four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifty, seven, eighty, nine.
There's one. Remember, we're doing five sets. All right. I only have four more to go. And remember, always have your chin tucked when throwing punches or when boxing. That's another important thing. If you have your chin up, take a clock. There is two sets there. We're on the third set. Just keep going, guys. We got this. Just keep going. It's all in the mind.
That's the third set. If you need to take a break, water break, go right ahead. Pause for a minute. If you're outside and 100 degree weather or 70 degree weather, something like that, it's always best to take a break. That was the third round. Now we're on the fourth round. And after the fourth round, we just got one more.
got one more. We got one more, then we're done. That'll be a, after this one. That'll be a hundred wrap straight with just the four punches that I told you to work on. Just one more rep. There you have it folks, 100 reps, 5 sets of the basics, gives you a good workout, gives you a good pump in the shoulders, get your heart rate up, um, 
like I said, just take your time at it. You do not become a master in one night. You become a master your whole journey. So, no, you, you just can't become a master just by watching videos. You gotta get up and do the work yourself. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting up, doing the work myself, you know, working my way up, you know, be in better shape, be in better, you know, condition. Um, I'm at, I mean, my weight varies anyway from 161 to 155. I'm trying to cut back on my weight a little bit. You know, I'm trying to watch how much I eat. Um, my bad thing is I eat at night before I go to bed. That's a big no-no. Um, but I just don't like to go to bed hungry. So, I'm going to try to put back on that. Um, I only have one meal today. Um, but other than that, I'm still going. I mean, I'm not really hungry. So, it's uh, pretty good. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a fasting thing, I guess. Um, that's the only way I can actually lose weight. And do it that way, I guess. I've done it before, and it's helped out a lot. But um, I'm not going to try to starve myself to death. But you know, I do hold back, and I I went to Taco Bell this afternoon. It was probably about 1:30 ish until I got something to eat. Then went to Walmart and got a few things, and then came home. Took me a nap, and then I got some rest. And then I decided, well, I watched a movie on Netflix after I woke up. And I watched halfway through it. And I was watching these people fight. And I mean, they were just bam, 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 bam on each other. And I was just like, you know, I need to start training. You know, get back into fighting shape again. Which I've always been in the fighting shape. But it's just, you know, movies always motivate me when I see people fighting movies and stuff like that. It always motivates me to train. And that's the reason why I like action movies. Because they always motivate me. They always make me have a purpose to train. And hopefully one day, you know, somebody, you know, you know, that's out there, you know, if they want somebody, you know, um, let's say an actor or something wants me to be in a park or something, you know, you never know, and, and it has to be a fighting scene, and how am I, you know, going to be able to be in top physical shape, you know, if they end up having me in that scene, and I'm just out of breath in two minutes, so that's the reason why I work out, is to better myself, to be humble about myself, and show you know to feel good that's the thing just to feel good be outdoors um and once in a while be indoors and once in a while um i try to do multiple things um into my training um only thing i don't do is uh, i don't run i mean i can run but i'm not really good at it but it's like i can't i mean because of my feet they won't let me run. Um, I can jog. I mean, I'm not afraid to jog, but jogging is really not good on your knees. It's not really good on your feet. I mean, on your legs. Um, but fighters need it to be able to stay in shape. Um, I might start running around my trailer some, just kind of like get a feel, feel of it. Um, but other than that, um, like I said, just do whatever works for you. Don't try to do whatever everybody else does. Just do what works for you. You know, if you if you, if you just like calisthenics, do calisthenics. Uh, if you want to add boxing into your workouts, uh, into your calisthenic workouts, then then that's good. That's another plus. But if you want to do weightlifting and stuff like that. That's even more of a plus because you're getting stronger on the outside and on the end. So just stay positive, you know, do your research and 
train hard, train smart, get out there, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.